Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Supply Chain is Microsoft's premium business application suite and is purpose-built for modern distributors. Combining world-class Azure technology and infrastructure with best practice, business processes, and fully integrated analytical reporting, Dynamics 365 can relieve the pains that are very common within the distribution space. Within the modern supply chain, distributors are experiencing increased demands from both vendors and customers alike. Customers expect certain levels of order access and tracking, while suppliers and vendors are requiring frictionless communications, whether it's portals, electronic communications such as EDI transactions, or other collaborative communications, distributors need the capabilities to adapt to these constantly changing demands. Dynamics 365 offers a robust set of tools to enable a proactive and adaptive environment for distributors to thrive. Within Dynamics 365 for supply chain, there is standard functionality for a vendor collaboration portal that allows you to communicate in a seamless integrated environment with your suppliers. Communications can include things like requests for quotation bids, purchase orders for approval, notes, files, documentation, as well as invoices. Let's take a quick look at a procure to invoice cycle utilizing the vendor portal. Within Dynamics 365, I have a purchase order open where you can see item number, name, quantity, and price. Here I can also submit the purchase order to the vendor collaboration portal for the vendor to view. When submitted, all the attached notes, documentation, and files will also be submitted for that vendor to view. Now I'll log in as the vendor so we can see what their view on the purchase order and attachments looks like. Within the vendor collaboration portal, they have a slimmed down version of Dynamics 365 that is information specifically to them. We can see purchase orders, bids for quotations, as well as notes and attachments. Once the vendor has reviewed the information, they can either accept the purchase order, reject it, or even suggest changes back to us. They can add notes and attachments of their own. But for today's example, let's go ahead and accept it. Once the vendor has accepted the purchase order, it can either be auto-confirmed or manually confirmed on our end based on parameters and settings. Once the purchase order has been confirmed and the goods have been received, the vendor can actually initiate the invoicing process from the vendor collaboration portal. Here they can generate a new invoice, select the related purchase order to be invoiced, identify an invoice number, an invoice date, a description if needed, and then create invoice. The invoice is then generated, and all the information can default over from the purchase order. From here, the vendor could add notes and attachment, documentation, add additional charges if needed, and then submit that for approval through the workflow. Once submitted, the invoice will be routed through a configurable vendor invoice workflow process. The invoice will ultimately end up on our end as a pending vendor invoice that can be reviewed and processed. That process can include either a two or a three way match. From there, the invoice can be posted and then processed for payment. As you can see, the frictionless communication between you and the vendor utilizing the vendor collaboration portal is extremely important and also can create a much better relationship between you and that supplier. Thank you for listening in. Have a great day.